Welcome to your weekly market update. We are seeing interest rates elevated. We had a less than favorable inflation report come out. Um, we are expecting inflation to come down uh, on the March reading that comes out in April to the April reading come out in May. So we really feel rates will come down sharply around April or May. Until then, we're going to see some ups and downs. And Rates are elevated into the higher 6% range uh, with about 20% down and 780 credit score. Uh, that uh, is changing each and every day. So rates are elevated a bit. Uh, nothing is linear in the markets. Some encouraging signs that I wanted to share with you is some of the, um, some of the inventory numbers. So we are seeing inventory numbers. Uh, this is from Zillow, by the way, for January. Average days on the market nationally are 29 days. So that is not a long time. Average over the last 30 years is to sell in about five months for a property. So 29 days is obviously less than a month. 26% of those properties sold above ask. This is two and a half percent higher than last year. So prices continue to go up. And this is up 8% since pre-pandemic Um readings and averages. New listings uh, have increased. Total inventories up uh, from one and a half percent from the de December. So it's up one and a half percent over the December numbers. And it's almost 40 percent lower than pre-pandemic levels. So why do we keep saying pre-pandemic? That was the normal markets. Everything's been a little chaotic since then. Uh, we have Zoom, which I'm on right now, that allows you to work from anywhere. Um, you have just people migrating, you have less people working in the office, more needs for space because people are working at home. It just completely changed the way we live. Um, and with inventory down 40% from the averages pre-pandemic, you can see why prices will continue to go up. So I said this last update, um, we ended 2023 up 7%, almost exactly 7%. It's forecasted another 6% this year. So that's 13% over the last year. Mind you, that was up from 19% the year before. So properties will continue to go up. So if you're a homeowner, great news. Your property value will continue to grow up. If you need to buy a home or you're renting, these values will keep going up. Landlords can get more. Uh, rent seem to be stabilizing, um, but when there's a lack of inventory and rentals, those will go up as well. So housing is becoming very expensive uh, as there's more immigration to our country that amplifies this problem. Uh, China, people have 50, 60 year mortgages. Um, many of the Chinese, it's, it's a huge luxury to be a homeowner in China. So we're starting to see some of that come here. Uh, my friend in San Francisco said the average first time home buyer was 42 years old. Uh, that just means housing isn't affordable until you've been saving for a long time. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen to you. We want to get you in now because we know prices will continue to go up. So stay diligent in your search. We're here to support you. Please call me with any questions, 312-731-4939, or you can always email us, chad at thelubingroup.com.